And here's Julia to teach us how to make our own boutique roast at home. Despite what you might have heard at your local cafe, roasting coffee is relatively easy. You really don't need the expense of a Probat or Dietrich roaster to turn green beans brown. Using just a frying pan and a long spoon, I'm going to show you a really quick and easy way to make your very own boutique label roast in your very own home. Begin by heating up your frying pan to about 200 to 250 degrees. Once you're there, add your green beans to the pan. Make sure not to fill the pan too full so that you can still stir the beans without them falling out. Make sure to keep the beans moving. The green coffee beans will first turn yellow and then start to brown. At around three minutes, you'll hear a crackling sound like popcorn as the remaining moisture bursts from the bean. At this point, the sugars are starting to caramelise and you've got a lovely light roast. Now you can stop here or you can continue roasting until you achieve the darkness that you like. But be careful, beans darken quickly, so keep an eye on them. As the sugar caramelises further and the oils of the coffee beans are released, a more fully flavoured roast will be created. If you hear a second crack, your coffee is quite dark at this point. Most people will stop roasting before the second crack happens. If you roast much beyond the second crack, most of the oils will have burned off and your beans will produce a really harsh, bitter cup of coffee. Once you've reached your desired level of roast, immediately move the beans to a colander and shake the colander for a minute or two to cool down the beans. There you go, your very own signature roast made in minutes in your own kitchen.